What is up, everyone? Welcome to another vlog. I'm missing a nail right now. Uh, a lot of the uh, clips I filmed for this vlog were n absolute nonsense. <laughs> and what I mean by that is I feel like we were in kind of a weird headspace last week, and I felt like that just kind of showed through in the clips, but not really in a helpful way or in a, I don't know. I feel like sometimes when we're going through stuff, I share about it and it can be helpful, but this was just, it was just kind of odd and there were there was going to have to be so much I had to edit. So long story short, I am going to include some of them because I feel like some of the clips I got were um, useful. Like they were, I think, interesting vlog clips, but then the rest of them I'm scrapping and I was planning on vlogging more anyway, so we're just going to continue on and kind of pick up where we left off. So we're going to go back in time. I want to show you a couple of things from last week and then we'll take it back to present day. And I did want to say before we go back to the past uh, that a portion of this video is kindly sponsored by HelloFresh. So we'll get to that in just a little while. So come with me. <laughs> I feel like you should insert like the Saved by the Bell like dream sequence thing. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you again in a minute. All right, so we did end up getting something new. Well, I should say the battery on my laptop, that's, that is what it was. They're sending it out. It's going to be like three to five days. So I've got to wait. But Tyler had seen these. And so we were eyeing them while we were in the Apple store. These are so cool. So I want to put my iPad on it and show you. But I was just cleaning my iPad off. I don't remember what YouTuber I heard talk about this stuff here. It's the Whoosh Screen Shine. I think I got it on Amazon. And it even came with like a travel one. This stuff gets my devices and like laptop so clean like that. I don't even know what in the world I was using for it before, but this is, it's really good. I don't know what magic, it's like the combo of these two things because the actual like towel thing itself is kind of unique too. But anyway, let me get this out of here and show you what it looks like. So it's literally magnetic. That alone was such a game changer to me. Um, and so it feels like a computer. It has a trackpad. Oh my gosh, it auto connected. I wondered, it has a trackpad and you literally can just click this is so cool to me um, you can just click like it's a mouse that is huge I can of course type and it shuts so it's a full-on case but this was the combo I think I've always needed something that is easily detachable because I was like okay if I don't want to carry around the whole case and everything I can just pop it off and use it like this I could maybe have a separate cheap case to like throw on it but again, I just love how easy it is. You can kind of adjust the screen. It feels almost laptop-like, and especially with this trackpad, like that is unbelievable. That is so, so cool. I had no idea this existed. So wanted to share. It was not cheap, but I am gonna get a lot of use out of this, especially when I'm like just answering emails, doing that kind of work, doing things with bookkeeping, taxes. I don't have to, well, Right now, I just don't have my laptop, but in the future, it'd be nice to not have to always carry around my laptop. So very, very, very excited about this. It is so nice. They only had it in white and black, and Tyler just walked in the room. You got the black. Mm -hmm. I'm Quite sorry, exciting. Tyler, this is so cool. I don't know if you said one of my agents had one at this last conference. I said you saw one recently. I couldn't remember where you saw yeah, it. Yeah, and I, want, I saw it, and I was like, I need it. I need it. So thank you, Alyssa, for showing me. <laughs> showing cool me the way, is. yes. Oh, my. He just suddenly appealed, too. What? I don't think that salad is for you, handsome boy. I'm doing a dance workout. Cinderella's joining me. It's so fun. I can uh, link the one I'm doing below. Well, good morning. Cheers from my cute little mug I got in Disney World. Isn't this cute? I love that. All the print, well, not all, but some of the princesses, and I love them. Anyway, so I'm currently going through this. I should have shown them before. I'm so sorry. This drawer was literally so full I couldn't shut it and nothing was organized anymore but this is kind of this was like my miscellaneous drawer in the nursery for this little munchkin uh so I had like bows in it burb cloths um shoes that still don't fit her none of these stay on her feet <laughs> well let me rephrase these are the only things these are the Zutano brand I think actually no these might I went with the cheaper Anyway, there's a million kinds of these on Amazon. These actually stay on her feet. So that's what we use, but you'll see a bunch of things with tags. So I already have a pile of things to get rid of here. Um, some are gonna be donated, some have to be trashed because they, they've expired. Um, but I also have some things that her hair's, she's still a sweet little bald baby. But these are things I saved from Genevieve, like little bows and things that hopefully we'll get to use sometime soon. Some bows that are too small for her head, but I'll keep in case we need them in the future, who knows? Bows that still work for her, we're gonna keep. And yeah, this is a good feeling because like I said, this has been the drawer that every time I open it, I'm like, ooh, this is a mess, I need to clean it up. All 
right, so now I'll have to take off my little clear labels I put on there from, oh my, like a year ago. That's crazy. Um, but this is so much better. So now we've got her shoes. So as she hopefully eventually can fit in these, um, I'll have them here. Those might eventually move down to where we have like shoes in the closet. We'll see. I mean, obviously she didn't walk yet, so it's not like they're dirty. <laughs> Precedence on these bad boys right here. Got some kind of random health-like things, thermometers, you know. Moved the um, bows that we have in here because now we only have like five or six. That's perfect. Um, these are all like little, you know, passy clips. Uh, I've got like a bottle thing. So if she throws the bottle on the ground, we can clip it to like the stroller or car seat, things like that. And then her socks, I put them in a container that has a little more room, which is great because they were in this container. And then I just have some drool bibs here. Um, all of our like real bibs, you know what I mean, for eating are down in the kitchen where we use them. So this is amazing. Getting rid of that pile. Um, I've got a couple more things to deal with up here. Um, burp cloths, I'm just going to put in a different, we don't really use them right now, obviously. I don't know why that's obvious. We're just at a stage where she just, we don't use them. So I got to figure out if I want to keep some. Some of them have her name on them. Uh, so we'll, we would definitely put some of those in her keepsake box, especially that one. Um, so we'll see kind of what happens with those. But yeah, this is one of those projects that this literally took me five minutes and it's been driving me nuts for a month. So if you have a project that you need to get done that you know will only take you five to ten minutes, do it now. Let this be your little, not warning, but signal from the universe and get it done. You will feel so much better. Honey, you're going to be crawling in like 2.5 seconds. Yeah, you know you're just rolling around. Hi, cutie. I just realized I was unpacking and I hadn't shown you guys this. So I traveled to Disney with this. I'm finally like unpacking my makeup and it's hard to do one handed. This is on Amazon, pretty inexpensive. And it literally is a silicone little pouch for your brushes, you guys. It's so simple. It magnetizes shut. I had just like a couple brushes too many where it wouldn't shut. It didn't really bother me this time. I mean, I wish it were a little bigger and I really haven't done enough digging to see. They might have ones that are slightly bigger. I was able to fit, I mean, some a pretty good amount of brushes in this though. And it was within, I like tossed this in my makeup bag too. So even though it wasn't totally shut, like it wasn't a big deal, but I fit all of these in there. Like that was enough brushes. I think that's pretty awesome. So yeah, I wanted to mention this because I did not know this kind of thing existed. I love that I can clean it if I want since it's silicone. And yeah, that is just like one of those random little things that can just make your life so much easier when you're like packing or traveling or maybe you just carry your makeup brushes around with you. I don't know. I don't know your life, but just saying very cool. Okay, the other thing I promised I would mention and link because um, I posted about it on Instagram and so many of you guys were like, oh my gosh, where from? Amazon, they have a bunch of different colors. This is one of those makeup bags that folds up to be a square, right? Like when you zip it, but then when you unzip it, it lays completely flat. This <laughs> is maybe the greatest makeup bag I've ever owned. It is so smart. So in the middle, I just had like my mascaras and liners and stuff. I had just kind of random bits and bobs over here, like my sharpener, um, lipstick. I, I don't even remember. It all got jumbled anyway. And then just had everything else there. The fact that it could just lay flat and then I was able to, you know, zip it and have it like this when I was carrying it around or packing it, whatever. Incredible. Let me show you what it looks like zipped up. I mean, how cool is that? And mine, it was pretty full. I was still able to zip it. So if you were like concerned about that, you might be surprised by how much you're able to still fit in this and still be able to shut it. You know what I mean? So yeah, this is just incredible. Like I said, they had other colors. I feel like they had like tan and pink and different ones. I just like the look of just like a sleek black, but yeah, a uh, big fan. These are both like such little simple game changers, you know? All right, now it is time to put back the makeup that I am either stuff I travel with, random things I've been using in videos, uh, stuff from my vanity I want to switch out, so we need to put these back into my collection for now. And we've got even more to put away. <laughs> All right, back to present day. So um, today is a Monday, and why did I say it like that? A Monday. I 
have some work to get done. I need to, I'm actually going to the nail salon to get my nails done. Felicity's here with us today. Gigi's at school. So Felicity, we're kind of trading off. So I'm watching her this first half of the day while Tyler works and we're just about to switch. Although right now she's napping. So that kind of works out. So I need to go answer some emails, that kind of thing. I might go to like a coffee shop even if it's just for like 30 minutes after I get my nails done and answer some emails there as well because I'm not going to have as much work time as I'd hoped. Um, and then I can just pick Gigi up from school on the way back from that. We'll see how the day, you know, how the day goes, but I think that would be kind of fun. And I have told myself, it's kind of like a, almost a silly goal. It's not really silly to me, but uh, I told myself I really want to be better about like when I feel like I need to get out of the house and I'm able to get out of the house, just doing it because I feel like it's so easy to be like, ah, but I'm comfy at home or ah, it's cold out or ah. and I'm like, it, it's so good for me mentally, especially in the winter. I know a lot of us are going through this right now, especially in the winter to get out of the house when you can. So anyway, <laughs> I feel like I'm still in a weird headspace. I'm trying to like shake out of it. Um, by the way, speaking of weird headspaces, I bought a pack of these notebooks on Amazon and I want to I have, well, I've already started journaling in them and it was like a pack of four and um, they're kind of smaller, they're wide. I would show you, but I'm not gonna show you my journal thoughts. Uh, but they're kind of wide ruled and I like that because I write kind of big so I have room. But anyway, I want to decorate as juvenile as it may sound, it's something I love. Like kind of create a collage on the front of this just for funsies. Um, I see a lot of people make vision boards and things like that. That's not really, my thing, I don't think, um, but I do think it's fun to kind of decorate stuff with just things you like. And I, I guess in, in a way that's vision board-esque. Um, but anyway, but I thought that's perfect to do it on my journal because this is something I would keep. And considering how small this is and how much I'm hoping I write in this, it's kind of perfect that it's a pack of four. I can redecorate the next one. And so it's kind of one of those ongoing projects that's something enjoyable to me, but also, like I was saying, being in a weird headspace, it's been really good for me the past few nights to journal my thoughts. And another thing Tyler and I've talked a lot about because I'm probably like a lot of you guys where I feel like I set goals of like, I'm gonna, this year I'm gonna journal and this year I'm gonna write and I never do. So I think part of the reason I never do is that I always grapple with, well, should I just do a digital journal? Should I do it this way? And one realization I had finally was that digital journals aren't for me because so much of my day is spent on a computer, on my phone, et cetera, for work and for personal use. And I thought, you know, this is one thing that I can do not digitally. And it's kind of nice to physically write things down. Like how often do you even practice writing? Like my hand was tired after like a paragraph. So I'm sure I'll work back up. I remember like, <laughs> this is like the longest conversation. Do you remember when you were younger, and you'd have like, you know, summer off in school, if you went to school, you know what I mean? Like I'm sure some people homeschooled, although I feel like a lot of people take off the summer. Anyway, you'd get back to school after the summer and you felt like, like I felt like I had to like retrain the muscles in my hand. And so the first few weeks after summer break, I'd feel like my hand would get so tired and cramped so quickly. So that's how I'm feeling right now, but it's been like, oh, you know, a decade of not writing very much. But another reason I felt like I never really journaled was because I felt like I had these like rules in my mind of like, okay, this journal is only gonna be about like this or that, or like about my personal life, which duh. But one thing I've started doing, and again, I'm like three or four days into this, is, you know, if I'm reading a bit of the Bible or a devotional, I have like written some of that down in there. And the second I started writing down like a Bible verse, I thought, no, Jess, cause this is supposed to be like personal. I'm like, Jessica, first of all, this is your journal. It's for no one but yourself, okay? Stop imposing rules that serve no one. <laughs> and second of all, this is a part of my life. And so I, I kind of like that I've lifted all rules from my journaling and so that I can just freely write whatever I want. Cause another thing I like to do is write poetry and I was kind of keeping it separate, which I, I do like having my kind of separate poetry book, but regardless, that's something else I could kind of weave in there. So I hope this spoke to someone. <laughs> I feel like I just talked a lot about just a journal, but I'll link this pack. They had, you know, it's Amazon. They have a million versions of anything you want on there, including notebooks, but this one um, is nice. The paper is nice. The, um, the actual cover is thick, like a nice thick, thick, thick cardstock, which again, if I'm making a little collage on there, I, I figure that works out nicely too. Oh, another thing I wanted to talk about was, uh, I feel like I have so much to say. 
Slow down, Jess. So another thing I wanted to talk about was um, digital organizing. And this is something that has been stressing me out for like forever. And I bet a lot of you guys feel stressed about like, okay, let's just talk photos. Think about the photos that you have on your phone slash your computer, and maybe you back them up to Google Photos or like Apple iCloud or whatever you might use. But my thing is I never really print any and I really I'm like we have some like we put some in frames and stuff and I actually need to update a lot of them. But, you know, beyond that, I feel like a lot of those photos just kind of go to die and that makes me sad. And so I was like, well, what could we do? And one thing that hit both Tyler and I is why don't we do at the end of every year or maybe even in like the January or February. So like we're going to try to do it soon for last year. Because we were thinking, what's a time that's not quite as busy? Because the end of the year is busy. It's not a good time. But if we did in February, looked back on the last year and just via Shutterfly or any of those sites, create a little printed photo album. And we were like, we don't want it to be too much work. We want it to be simple because that's the thing. If it starts getting too complicated and we're trying to like, kind of like scrapbooking for us, it's enjoyable-ish, but not enough that we would want to keep doing it. This has to be simple, and so we figure we can just kind of do them in order, pick our favorites, you know, we can have little titles if we want, but generally just have the month and year, have our favorite pictures from that month, go to the next month, and just keep it really simple. But then we can have, and we could even go back, and when we have free time, lol, when we have free time, do previous years as well. And so that way, the girls, as they grow up, will have these to look at of all the years instead of trying to scroll back on our phone, and maybe the the photos still aren't on there anymore, you know, whatever it is. I think that is a simple system that should work for us. It'll be something tangible that we can look through from time to time. And like I said, it'd be easy to go back in time and do previous years as well. And that's also something that the girls, when they are older, we could order more of the books so they each have their own copies too. I guess we could do that right off the bat. We'll see. But anyway, that I wanted to share too, because I know that sounds really simple and a lot of you guys maybe already do that, but that was like an epiphany for us that we were like, why don't we just do that? Instead of printing out separate photos and making it a thing, every year in February, do this and we'll have it printed and have it. And I think that's going to be cool. And really, my sister always works really hard to create a photo album for the Murphy side of the family, my my side of the family, and gives that to my mom every year for Christmas. And it's, it's similar to that, but she puts a lot more work into it and it's a little more curated and cute and decorated. I want to get copies of those as well, but that's more like the entire Murphy family. This would just be our our little family, and then some. Okay, I'm over explaining. Are you guys still there? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I hope this was helpful. <laughs> I think I need more copy, you guys. As always, I feel like every vlog has a clip of this handsome boy Pinocchio laying on his favorite pillow. Yeah, being a good boy. <laughs> The nail salon took a little bit longer, worth it, because I ended up doing like a little bit of chrome on top. I'll link this exact combo down below if you're curious of the color and stuff. But when I saw the finished product, it was so pretty to me. Like this is just like frosty heaven. But this looks exactly, and I'm about to make a very specific comparison. This looks exactly like the dress that Pam Beasley wears in the office when Jim kisses her and it's like after hours. You know the dress? It's such a specific shade of blue. It's got this sheen. It is dead on. <laughs> so that's fun. I'm just gonna pop into the grocery store because I have like 15 minutes, get a couple groceries we need, bananas, the usuals, you know, um, the things we run out of, I feel like a lot, which is good that we're running out of bananas and fruit, but, and a couple other things we need um, on the other end of things like peanut butter, Captain Crunch cereal, you know. <laughs> My personal favorite, I love. Then I'm gonna pick up Gigi and it's about dinner time. So I feel like this day has been a productive day, but it's it's just kind of flown by. I can't believe it's already like, it's just crazy that it's almost evening. Like the sun is setting right there. Where'd the day go? Also, you guys, my new purse. Tyler got me for my birthday. It was one I very specifically asked for. I love that it's like medium size. It I think looks bigger on camera than it really is when I got it and opened it, I was like, oh, it's smaller than I thought, but in a good way, like this is the perfect size. I just love that it has this strap that's just slightly different. It's got all these openings here. Like it is just the most beautiful purse. I'm so excited. So I had to show up because I love it and I was totally inspired. It was absolutely a either Facebook or Instagram ad that kept being fed to me and boy, they got me because I kept looking at it day after day and I was like, all right, fine, I want it. 
All right, we're home. It's dinner time. We are very hungry. Tyler has the girls in the basement right now. I was like, I just need quiet for like 20 minutes so I can make dinner. So tonight's dinner is going to be a HelloFresh one. And as I mentioned earlier, this portion of the video is kindly sponsored by HelloFresh. Thank you so much for continuing to support my channel over the years. So tonight we're going to make the pork and zucchini bibimbap. I love that with HelloFresh, it's a meal delivery service. They come with all that you need to make the meal, including really nice recipe cards that lay everything out step by step. I feel like this time of year in January, a lot of us are thinking about what we're eating, what we're feeding our families. And I love that they have so many different options for so many different ways of eating. So if you've got different goals for the new year, HelloFresh can help you achieve them depending on what they are. You can skip the grocery store and take control of your time and your budget with really, really delicious recipes delivered right to your door. I love that they have their fast and fresh recipes that are ready in less than 15 minutes, which is amazing. They also have calorie smart and carb smart recipes, or you can even customize different meals by swapping proteins or sides. You can upgrade your proteins, or you could even add proteins to a veggie dish. But each week they have over 35 different recipes to choose from. And I just like that it really saves us time and energy. It is one of those things that we don't have to plan for when we know we're getting HelloFresh that week. We don't need to worry about adding those types of ingredients to the grocery list, figuring out what we're gonna make, all of that stuff is taken care of. Plus the big game is right around the corner. So if you are someone that is hosting a get together and watching the game, HelloFresh Market makes snacks and sweets really easy for game time. They've got delicious barbecue baby back ribs, chocolate chip brownies, and everything in between. But another thing that's cool is, you know, saving money at any time of year is important. And HelloFresh actually helps you save money year round. It's actually cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% cheaper than takeout. Plus the ingredients travel from the farm to you in less than seven days, so you know that they're fresh. Plus you can skip a trip to the grocery store, especially when the weather's bad. You can stock up on snacks sides, desserts, and more at HelloFresh Market. You can just add them to a weekly order and they'll arrive at your doorstep along with your meals. At the end of the day, for me and my family, we like how fast and easy it is. We save money versus getting takeout. It saves us time, which is worth a lot to us. We love having HelloFresh in our back pocket for weeks like this that we just don't really have the time and energy to spend on meal planning, prepping, etc. If you want to check out HelloFresh for yourself, you can go to hellofresh.com and use my code jbron 21 to get 21 free meals plus free shipping. I'll have that right at the top of the description box. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is, I was munching on each thing individually. This is truly one of our favorite meals we at least make monthly and we did discover it through HelloFresh. It's just truly, there's something about the mixture of these vegetables and the meat and the rice, but that sauce is so, so unbelievably good. So bottoms up or cheers. I don't, I don't know what to say. You guys, I've been, I've been harping on like this recipe for so long. If you guys have not tried it yet, it's time. So another really, really delicious HelloFresh meal. <laughs> so good. Mm. All right. Hello. Good morning. It's well, actually it's like, probably like 11.30 now, I'm trying to tame this bad boy. Can't be tamed. So I've got Lissy in the room, if you hear grunts, she's just rolling around, um, playing with toys. Anyway, so I wanted to try a couple new products I just got in the mail from Ulta that I purchased. These are from Physicians Formula. I posted about these on my YouTube community tab and then also on Instagram. Their new Butter Glow Liquid Highlight and Bronzer. And then I also got their Butter Glow Powder which I think looks a little bit like um, the Laura Geller, like balance and brighten, like where you kind of swirl it together and it's supposed to be, have some coverage. We're gonna see. And then I also bought, I, I don't, I can't even pick what, which thing I'm the most excited about. These Essence Baked Blushes, y'all. They're so pretty. So anyway, battery just died, had to replace it. That's what we're doing. So um, let's start. I've obviously done the rest of my makeup, but except for like my face, I did foundation. What did I wear? Oh, the e.l.f. Oh my gosh, the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation, I absolutely love. I'm so glad I like rediscovered. It is still so good, so I'll link it below. It's like under $10. I know it used to be $6. I have a strong suspicion it might be like $8 now. But anyway, it is such, such a good foundation. Yeah, she is on the verge of crawling, y'all. And she, she's just like, and we're like, oh, but she gets around though. You scoot, you pull, you roll. Yeah. Hey. Say hi, we're both in pink. 
Yo, makeup for babies. All right, we'll be back. So I, I wasn't filming. This is the Butterglow Liquid Bronzer. I did it on this side so you can see it. Um, here it is on this side. They only have one shade, so I... First of all, this shade kind of works for me. It's a little, I mean, I think it looks really nice. So if you're anywhere near my skin tone, go for it. They need more shades. Like this is just insane that, yeah. <laughs> so Physician's Formula, if you're listening, more shades. But it, it looks nice. So like I said, it's gonna work for very few people. So I feel like this isn't even, I don't know. So the highlight, well, let me try the blush and then we'll do the highlighter after. So. Blush wise, these are the Essence Pure Nude Baked Blushes. So this line from Essence is their Pure Nude Highlighter line, or I mean, it, that's, yeah, that's the same line. And I absolutely love that stuff. So I'm so excited they're kind of banking on this. So this shade is Shimmery Rose. Looks really, really pretty. Definitely for fair skin like mine. Um, they had some, a, I think a decent shade range of blushes. This is Goldie Cassis, a little bit more like purpley berry toned that is I love that shade mm. and then this one is pink flush I think this one looks kind of similar this one has some actual glitter in it whereas the other ones just have shimmer um, that's this one here so that one I don't know how well you can see it this one has actual glitter in it those don't so just something to keep in mind if you want to avoid glitter I would avoid the shade pink flush so I kind of want to try the like berry tone just because it looks, I just love that tone. Now that I'm looking at it, it looks like this one has glitter too, but I think it's a lot finer milled than the other one was. I just love, I think this tone is so pretty. Okay, a little bit too heavy handed, Jesse. which I have a strong suspicion I'm going to like the lighter shade, this one here, Shimmery Rose. That's probably going to end up being my favorite because I have a feeling I'll be able to go to town with it and it not look heavy handed because the shade is so similar to my skin tone you know what I mean it's so light but this looks I love the sheen and finish of this blush like you really don't need a highlighter with it at all but it looks pretty I don't think it looks like too much so would recommend so far these are beautiful let's try this highlight so I I, I know I, I feel bad that it I wasn't filming like I thought I was this part so to go over the packaging of both of these squeezy tube um, I actually like the packaging it's easy to keep clean if you want you know this is the shade Glow. I think they only have one shade of this too. It looks really pretty. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more on. I could see this being something that you could put underneath foundation. Obviously you could mix with foundation because it is, the formula is very, I don't know, like it's, it's one of those texture, not textures, what am I, like consistencies. It's one of those consistencies that would lend itself well to mixing with foundation as well. So I think that's kind of nice. It's not too liquidy, it's not too thick, so it'll mix really nicely. And I think if you have a foundation that um, maybe is a little too matte or you're just wanting to glow it up a little bit, you could just mix it and it would look really, really pretty. I really like the way this looks just as it is. Ooh! So, would recommend the highlight. If the bronzer shade's gonna work for you, great. If not, you know, Physician's Formula. Ha! Ah, highly recommend these blushes already. I just love the finish. So last up, real quick, is the Physician's Formula Butter Glow. So this says, it's a radiance boosting pressed powder. Um, give a lip from within glow. It's universally flattering, they say. I do think they had two shades of this. So this is translucent glow. I thought it was more like coverage. I don't think I really realized it was glow, even though it's called Butter Glow. Oh, wow. So this, I'm not gonna be able to use the way I think I thought. That is like a highlight status. That's way too glowy to put all over my face, I think. Maybe I'll just put, I don't even know how to use this, you know? I'll put it on my forehead just to see. I'm really taking one for the team here, guys. Actually, actually does look pretty nice, <laughs> I have to say. It kind of blurs, like I feel like it's kind of blurring out the areas I just put it in really nicely, but it is slightly glowy, so maybe I take it back. Maybe just when it's that heavily concentrated, like a finger swatch, it definitely looks intimidating and super glowy, but it's, it, I feel like it looks really nice, so. Okay, so generally I really, really liked these products. I think the winner for me is the blush. I really, I really think, and like I said, I think anyone would probably like the one I put on, Goldie Cassis, but I think my favorite will end up being Shimmery Rose just based on what I like on myself. I really, really like the liquid highlight and I'm interested in this powder. And the bronzer, again, A, it blends in really easily, so it does have that going for it. I know, I feel like I was really short with it since it cut off, but or it didn't film, 
but it did blend in really easily. It's just obviously very limited who could even use it. So I hope that little fun jaunt into some new makeup was fun. Um, I am starving. I need to have some lunch. We were going to go to the library. You need to, I need to lay you down for a nap. Little Miss Thing. We were going to go to the library with your big sis. Maybe get some coffee at the little cafe there. Yeah, it's nap time for this little one. Um, and I'm actually going to declutter today. So I'm trying to decide which category I want to declutter. I think I'm going to do like full on, like not just foundations or whatever. It would be like all of my face products or all of my cheek products, you know, just because it I really do need to declutter. The downside is that some of my products are still at the workspace and I I need to film this video today and I wish I would have thought I haven't been at the workspace in a hot minute. So anyway, long story short, I won't have all of my products to declutter, but I generally have most of them. So it'll still be very beneficial. So yeah, that is what we're up to. Off to go eat some lunch first. Good morning. Um, it snowed. Like a good snow, let me show you. Yes. Oh my gosh. It is, it's just a good snow. I'm just loving it. I'm getting all the snowy smells. So fresh. Oh my gosh, I love it. Also, <laughs> just staring at that, right? These are fake, by the way. We bought them on Wayfair. Um, a couple of years ago and for whatever reason we have them like weighed down there's like rocks in there and all kinds of stuff but for whatever reason this one continually will not stay up so we I don't know we got to figure it out I'm feeling all the wintry vibes by the way at the library yesterday did I vlog at the library now I don't remember I know I've vlogged before but anyway they have a bookstore in there and we got a couple books Tyler got some we got some for Gigi because they're like 30 cents or 50 cents you know um, books that the library is getting rid of Found this one, Sutton Foster, Hooked. I thought it was just about crafting, and I was like, mm, Sutton Foster's like a Broadway, Broadway baby. So I was interested, but I'm like, I don't, I'm not really interested in the crafting part of it. Um, it's large print, first of all. But um, as I kind of skimmed through it, I'm like, oh, it's a lot more about like her life in general too. So bought that. I don't think it was $8. I think it was like a dollar or two. It was, it was whatever their deal is. Anyway, I also got this book, The Creator's Code. Uh, six essential skills of extraordinary entrepreneurs. Honestly, I would have never looked at a book like this, but I was kind of skimming through it and read a few paragraphs on various pages. And it was interesting enough just about like really famous companies and things that maybe the creators or whatever did differently. And it's not super long because there are books about this kind of thing that are like this thick. And I'm like, um, <laughs> my attention span is that not that long for something like this, but I am interested enough. And then they had this mindfulness coloring book for like, it says two dollars i think in the end it was like 50 cents and it's not colored at all i thought oh first of all why does the library have this my guess is it was donated and they just don't have coloring books there so they just put it in their their bookstore but anyway that was exciting those three finds i usually don't buy anything there because i read on my kindle so i don't often buy you know what i mean books whereas tyler reads on his kindle and has to own the book so we spent a lot of money on books <laughs> So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I know the beginning I feel like was a little bit confusing. Hopefully this all flowed okay. Yeah, thank you again to HelloFresh for sponsoring a portion of this video. If you want to check out HelloFresh for yourself, you can go to hellofresh.com and use my code jbron 21 for 21 free meals and free shipping. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.